for more information related to the civil engineering concepts and civil engineering updates please visit my website civilbasics123.com go to type civilbasics123.com in google so that my website will be open here like this so which is consisting of all detailed concepts related to the civil engineering topics so please follow my website civilbasics123.com in this video lecture i will explain you analysis and designing of G Place Eleven Irregular Structure Building by using Stat Pro V8 software. So I was already done the modeling process. I was applied the load cases for the respective structure, and I was done the analysis process. Okay. So firstly, I will show you the analysis results, which is related to the G Place Eleven Irregular Building Structural Model. So initially, I will show you the model, which is related to the irregular structure by using Stat Pro V8 software. So for that, select the Stat Pro V8 software. So this is my irregular building model. I was done the modeling process. Click on the 3D rendering view option. So click on this particular option. So this is my building model, which was done with irregularity of the shape at the corner section. Okay. So I will show you the results which are comes under the analysis process. So for that, go to click on the post processing mode option. So now we can see this is the deflection of the building structure due to the presence of the uh, dead loading condition system. The building is deflecting like this for the respected consideration. In the same process, if you want to see the shear force diagram, so click on the F Y value. So this is a shear force diagram for the respective structure under consideration. In the same process, I am selecting the MZ value, which is comes under the bending moment diagram for this respective structure. Okay. So after that, we have to see the stress diagrams, which is comes under the respective slab section. So go to click on the plate load option. Apply your stress type is absolute pressure. Click on apply option. Okay. Click on OK option. So this is the maximum absolute pressure load action rate for that particular. slab section okay so again i will show you the properties which is considered for this respected building go to geometry option sorry general option so for this building i was taken column size which is consisting of 0.5 cross 0.5 beam size is 0.4 cross 0.5 and plate thickness is approximately 150 mm section okay again i was taken the load cases which is comes under the both gravity loading condition systems as well as the lateral loading condition system this is comes under the earthquake load and wind load and dead load as well as the live load condition system so after analysis process completed we need to design this particular structure so for that we have to click on the uh, design option here and here we have to select the current code is is uh, 456 2000 so before that initially we need to select the concrete section under a consideration okay so here i am selecting concrete section select the code will be of is 456 2000 codal provision and select the parameters initially firstly we have to deselect all parameters from this we have to pick compressed and yield strength yield strength of shear reinforcement maximum main maximum secondary and md1 md2 click on okay option select the defined parameters option here Again, we have to enter the values which is comes under the compressive strength of the concrete. So for this structure, just I am assuming the compressive strength of the concrete is thirty thousand. Again, F Y main, just I am considering here as five hundred grade steel, five hundred thousand. Click on add option and select the F Y section reinforcement also five hundred section, five hundred thousand. Click on add option. Again, in the same process, maximum main, just I am selecting here as sixteen mm diameter bar. Click on OK. Maximum secondary twelve mm diameter. Click on add option. MD1 just I'm selecting here as 12 mm diameter bar click on add option MD2 also 12 mm diameter bar click on add option close option select the commands here select the design beam click on add design column option click on add design slab element command click on add option take off command click on add option close option so after that we have to assign this particular question marks for the building structure go to select FC value by using assign to view option assign yes option in the same process you can select the FY mean By using assign to view option, assign option yes option. Select F I section reinforcement by using assign to view option, assign yes option. Select maximum main by using assign to view, assign option yes option. Maximum secondary cell just I am selecting here, assign to view option, assign option yes option. In the same process just I am selecting M D one, assign to view, assign yes. M D two select assign to view option, assign option yes option. In the same process select the design beam. Go to select option. Beams parallel to x direction condition system. Go to select option. Beams parallel to z direction condition system. Click on assign to selected beams. Assign yes. In the same process, I am selecting column. Go to select option. Beams parallel to y direction condition system. Assign to selected beams. Assign yes option. In the same process, go to select the design element by using assign to view option. Assign option yes option. Again, we have to do the analysis process. Go to analysis and print. Add or no print. Close option. Go to analyze option. Click on run analysis option. Save option. So here we have to check for the zero errors as per the considerations of the design section. 
here it was obtained with zero errors go to post processing mode but the warnings are obtained as 1630 warnings okay in order to reduce the warnings so i was already done a video which is consisting of how to reduce the warnings by using start pro vi software so you can watch that video for decreasing the warnings okay so here i am proceeding with the same results click on done option so click on apply option click on ok option okay so it will show you the deflection diagram again deselect the deflection diagram and select the beam results option select any one of the beam from this respected consideration just i am selecting this particular beam click on the concrete design now we can see for this respected structure it is consisting of approximately 5 number of the 16 mm diameter bar at the top reinforcement section and bottom reinforcement section will be consisting of 5 bars of 16 mm diameter at the bottom reinforcement section again for this particular beam of 3 meter length it is required approximately 8 numbers of 8 mm diameter bar with 180 center to center distance for the particular uh, stirrup section in the same process we have to select the column section for seeing the results so go to select the column click on the concrete design now we can see for this respect 0.7 meter cross 7.0.7 .7 meter column section it is consisting of approximately 12 number of the 12 mm diameter bar with ast percentage is 0.27 and ast requirement is 832 mm square click on close option so after checking the beam results column results we need to load the stat output file which is consisting of all the detailed calculation part which is related to the as per is 456 2000 codal provision standard so you can click on the results option so it will be consisting of the concrete frame design results it will be consisting of all detailed calculation part which is related to the beams columns slab section as well as the uh, remaining members for the consideration okay it will take some time for loading the, all the pages as per the building structure consideration okay so after designing all the beams and column section we need to design the foundation for that go to click on the foundation design select all the primary load cases which is comes under the seismic loading condition system wind loading condition system dead loading live loading click on include option click on run start foundation the fixed supports of this respected building structure will be irregular building structure will be directly imported to start foundation software in start foundation software you can able to do the uh, detailing process of the foundation as per the consideration so before that initially we need to import the uh, node points so here now we can see i was imported the values of node points which is related to the start foundation software now we have to generate the load combination click on the loads and factors option generate load combinations option select as per the is 456 codal provision click on generate load combination option so that it will develop the service load combination for the respected consideration as per the design again in the same process you can click on the ultimate load combination option so that it will develop the ultimate load combination for the respected structure under consideration okay then after that we have to design the isolated fitting so for that click on the cancel option here job setup option create job option give the job name just i am giving isolated iso okay select the isolated footing as per the indian standard system and select the default units will be in si system as per the uh, assignments of the uh, supports okay so here i am selecting the load combination which is comes under 101 102 201 202 203 again 204 click on include option click on directly job setup option okay so click on this respected isolated job uh, footing information so that it will develop the values here like this you can click on the soil so you can change the bearing capacity of the soil to 200 value approximately select the floating and geometry sliding and over turning click on design option directly click on s option so that it will do the analysis process for the considerations of the isolated footing as per is 456 2000 codal provision so now we can see it was doing the analysis process for the respected considerations of isolated footing as per the is 456 2000 codal provision it was done with all the analysis you can select any one of the foundation here just i am selecting 122 number here so it will be consisting of all detailed calculation part which is included on this particular foundation section so this is the geometry this is the details and drawing it will be consisting of all detailed calculation of uh, isolated footing reinforcement values which is consisting of this particular column section again it will be consisting of calculation sheet here okay so this is the process of complete process of analysis and designing of irregular uh, structural building model by using stat pro vi software if you have any queries about this respected video, please try to text me your questions in the below comment box. I will try to give the answer for that respected particular questions. Thank you.